Good morning. Here is today's word of blessings for you. 1 John 1 5-9. This is the message we have heard from him and declare to you, God is light, in him there is no darkness at all. If we claim to have fellowship with him and yet walk in the darkness, we lie and do not live out the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, and the blood of Jesus, his Son, purifies us from all sin. If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Today's title is Walking in the Light. Have you ever lived in total darkness? It is almost impossible to imagine for a modern man to live in total darkness. Even at night, we have light everywhere. Living in total darkness is almost impossible. From my own experience, the deepest darkness that I have experienced was probably when I did a tour in the Crystal Cave in California. The tour guide of the cave led us to a deeper place of the cave where three was no natural light. The tour guide turned off the small flashlight that he used to lead us. He challenged visitors to close and open their eyes to see if there is any difference. Surprisingly we visitors found that there was no difference. I tried to open my eyes as wide as possible to see any hint of light. It didn't make any difference. In total darkness, eyes were useless. Literally, in the blink of time, I wondered what will happen if the tour guide loses his small flashlight. We could all become imprisoned in that total darkness groping and groaning for light. Where there is no light, there is no life, no hope, and no joy. In fact, that was how the world was before God created light. That also was our spiritual life before the Son of God came. Gospel is the good news that the light has come upon our lives. That's the first and foremost message that Apostle John declares in his letter to the churches as well as in the Gospel of John. Jesus, the Son of God broke the darkness that we were in with the light that was brighter than any light in the world. He breaks all kinds of darkness in the world and turns it into the light. The darkness that pervaded in all areas of life must now yield to the light of God. The darkness that breeds sorrows, hopelessness, loneliness, and immoralities and corruptions will now be replaced by the light of God that produces new fellowship with God. The new fellowship with God shines upon our lives with the light of peace, joy, and happiness. It is no wonder that John proclaims the good news loud and clear in the first place. What can be better news than this to the people who sit in darkness? Now we can walk in the light by the love and grace of God. How? By confessing our own sins and humbly trusting in the blood of the Son of God. The blood purifies us and opens our eyes. Is there a light in your life? Are you walking in the light? If not, Jesus the light of the world is calling you into his light.